Inspire Birds. I am Lawrence Potter Jr., Chief Academic Officer at the University of the District of Columbia. It is my pleasure to bring greetings to you in celebration of Commencement 2020. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has restricted us from being able to gather in a place of celebration for you, your parents, and your families. We are so excited that you are the very best of us. You represent the truest of Firebird spirit. And in celebration of you, we salute you with what we call Firebirds Forever. Throughout this celebration video, you will hear from all of the academic deans representing the colleges and schools across the university. We hope that the rest of your experience is positive. We salute you, Firebird Nation, and wish you the greatest success in your future endeavors. Hello, UDC Nation. My name is Christopher Bell, and I'm the chair of the board for the University of the District of Columbia Board of Trustees. And on behalf of my fellow trustees, it's my distinct pleasure and honor to congratulate you on your academic success in graduating. You know, you are part of the 2020 graduating class and 2020 has not been an easy year. There are many challenges facing the class of 2020. The world is in a difficult spot. And that's why we need you, this young educated population to go out and help lead the world to find solutions. Your academic intellect, your energy, your spirit, your creativity, your enthusiasm will be tested, but we know that you are ready for the challenge. We know that you can succeed, and UDC could not be more proud of the role it has played to help shape your success. You know, Oprah Winfrey says that education is the key to unlocking the world. It's your passport to freedom. And we hope that with your academic degree, you now have your passport to take on the challenges that the world will present to you. We know that you can do it. We have confidence in you. So once again, congratulations. I, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, look forward to the many successes that will come your way as you lead, aspire, and take on the world. Congratulations. I am so honored and proud to salute the 2020 graduates of our state university the University of the District of Columbia. Each year, new graduates face obstacles unknown to previous graduating classes. But this year, you, the class of 2020, face circumstances our nation has never seen. COVID-19 has changed and is still changing our shared world. Graduation looks different this year. Instead of being together, in one place in May, listening to a commencement speaker address your class, you're watching this video in your own homes. Instead of joyously throwing your motorboards in the air as a group, you are having a smaller celebration with your family. You may not be able to hear the applause for you this year, but Please know that many of us are clapping and know that as your representative in Congress, I am proudly celebrating with you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, I'm Renee Hutchins, Dean of the David A. Clark School of Law, and I am glad to share this salute with you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You have faced challenges that no group of previous graduates has ever confronted. You faced your final year in the midst of a global pandemic. You were tested, but you remained focused, and despite unprecedented challenges, you persevered. Congratulations on your remarkable accomplishments. President Mason, I present to you for your consideration the graduates who have earned their degree at the JD level from the David A. Clark School of Law at the University of the District of Columbia. I'm Dr. April Massey, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and I'm glad to share this salute with you. Congratulations, you did it. And not even a pandemic can deny your accomplishments. You've worked hard and you've sacrificed, and the contributions that you've made and will make 
outweigh any challenges, doubts, or struggles that you've had. Although I'm not physically with you, I do see you. I see your smiles and your tears and your hugs. And I see your Greek strolls and your kinty cloth stoles. And of course, I do see those killer pumps. I see your parents and your children, your partners and your friends. I hear them congratulating you now as I have heard them pray for you across your degree paths. I see your job offers, promotions, graduate school acceptance letters, passing board scores, and new business ventures. I see you energized and full of excitement for the next chapters of your lives. I see you and I salute you. Your marks on the university's legacy are indelible. You are the story that is UDC. On behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and community organizations that make up the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of the District of Columbia, I thank you for allowing us to be a part of the journeys that have brought you to this place. Thank you for making the college stronger. You are Firebirds forever. Again, congratulations. President Mason, I present to you for consideration graduates earning baccalaureate and master's degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences. Hello, my name is Dr. Dwayne Jones, Dean of the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability, and Environmental Sciences, CAUSES, here at the University of the District of Columbia. We are proud of you for reaching this major milestone in your academic career. We hope that you will stay connected to CAUSES, we hope that you will be consistent in your approach as you endeavor to change the world and impact those around you. And we hope that you will always aim higher as you endeavor to reach your highest potential. Congratulations. President Mason, it is my pleasure to present to you for consideration graduates earning degrees at the bachelor's and master's levels from the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability, and Environmental Sciences. I am Dr. Sateri Dean Mo the Dean of the School of Business and Public Administration, and I'm glad to share this salute with you. Congratulations. One of the most cherished moments of life is celebration of the graduation and walking at commencement. It's the time to share your joy with your family members, with your loved ones, with classmates, and others in the community. It is a time for us to watch you walking across the commencement platform and into the next chapter of your lives. The current circumstances would not allow us to join with you in the celebration, shaking your hands, embracing you, and giving you a proper farewell and send off into your next added life adventures. But it has not dampened our spirit, nor the joy of being so proud of you for what you have accomplished. From all of us at SPPA, a heartful farewell and congratulations. May the ray of hope always shine your path into a bright future. President Mason, I proudly present to you for your considerations graduates earning degrees at the BS, BA, MPA, and MBA levels from the School of Business and Public Administration. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dev Dasheti. I am the Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, SEAS. I am glad to share the salute with you. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to welcome students, faculty, staff, as well as the families of SEAS community to the video salute of our graduates. The current COVID-19 crisis we are facing today is not just a localized experience, but a crisis of global proportions. The crisis has pointed to us the nature of the close ties between the people of the world. I am thankful that our CS community has faced the challenges boldly, adjusting to the new normal. 
We all know that the field of computer science and engineering are transforming the world in ways we have never seen before. As UDC graduates, it will be you who will be solving vexing climate change problems, work on alternate energy sources, healthcare, design of new Internet of Things, tools, or Industry 4.0. As graduating seniors, you already had good opportunity to work with community problems, national competitions, federal research, industry-sponsored collaborations. We have also become the newest ambassadors of UDC and we are very proud to have you represent UDC to the world. President Mason, I present to you for consideration graduates earning degrees at the level of Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, in Electrical and Computer Engineering, in Mechanical Engineering, in Biomedical Engineering, as well as Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in information technology. In addition, masters in electrical engineering and masters in computer science. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Marilyn Hamilton, Dean of the Office of Academic Affairs at the University of the District of Columbia Community College. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King once said that the measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Your success speaks to your strength, resilience, and persistence in facing the challenges caused by the coronavirus. The move to online was new for many of you, yet you stayed focused, determined, and overcame new and more difficult barriers to achieve your goals. Many of your family members and friends provided prayers and encouragement as you each move steadily towards fulfilling your goals. Clearly, you have demonstrated that you are true firebirds. You aspired to achieve, accomplish your goals, and you took on the world. I'm glad to share this salute with you. Congratulations, graduates. So President Mason, it is with great pride that I present to you for consideration graduates earning degrees at the associate level from the UDC Community College. Go Firebirds! Hello class of 2020, this is Ronald Mason, president of the University of the District of Columbia, your public institution of higher learning in and for the nation's capital. I know this is not what you expected to be doing on May 9th, uh, yet I promise you that this will be a day that you will not forget. You've heard from the chairman of the board, you've heard from the chief academic officer, you've heard from the deans. Now it rests upon my shoulders as president to do the business at hand, which is to confer your degrees. So without further ado, let us proceed. Will the candidates for the Juris Doctor degree in the David A. Clark School of Law please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the master's degree in the College of Arts and Sciences and in the School of Business and Public Administration, and in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and in the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability, and Environmental Sciences, please rise and remain standing. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the School of Business and public administration, please rise and remain standing. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, please rise and remain standing. Will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees in the College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability and Environmental Sciences, please rise and remain standing. Will the candidates for the associate degrees in the University of the District of Columbia Community College please rise and remain standing. And now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University of the District of Columbia and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you associates, baccalaureate, and master's degrees from the University of the District of Columbia according to the department in which you have qualified with all honors, privileges, and responsibilities 
appertaining thereto. And now, since you are unable to move your tassels from right to left as a signal of receiving your baccalaureate degrees, as president and as the president who graduates with every graduating class, on your behalf, I now move my tassel from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2020, and congratulations to the family, friends, faculty, staff, and administration who worked with you to help achieve this great accomplishment. And let me leave you with this final thought. This pandemic is changing the world in ways that no one can ever imagine. It is your privilege and honor, but also your duty to be the first graduating class of college graduates to go out and build this new world. When we said that it was your time to aspire, accomplish, and take on the world, we did not know that this was the world that you would have to take on, but it is, it is the task before you. You are ready for it, be fortified, be strong, and remember that as a member of the Firebird family, Team UDC will always be there with you. As I said at your freshman orientation, I'll leave you with this final thought. Remember yesterday is only a memory and tomorrow is just a vision. It's what you do with today that will make every yesterday a memory of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. So class of 2020, always make this day the very best day that you can make it. And every yesterday will be a memory of happiness and every tomorrow will be a vision of hope. Congratulations, class of 2020.